Welcome to ThingLink. This is my account. I use this sometimes just to explain pages. For instance, um, it's augmenting a print page. You can also add things to images and videos. You can do 360 pieces. There's so many things you can do. This is simply what I did. Um, I added dots where I wanted, they're um, called tags, where I wanted people to read about the thing. So I could have made this an audio. I could have made this a video. I could have made it an image with audio. There's lots of utility with this. This is as plain as it gets. There's uh, many beautiful, wondrous things you can do with this. So when you get to this page, I've given you use an invite code, and that's where you'll go. Use that code and um, you'll be able to sign in easily and free and just save things um, right where they are. Go to create. You have all these different things that you can do. Um, again, it augments things that you have, and sometimes you can create things inside of it as well. I'm going to go with a blank canvas. Continue. It's going to ask me to upload something. I'm going to upload a book file that I have here. Uh, librarians Against QAnon or something. I don't know how to say it, but that's what it is here. I'm going to continue. I'm going to put this in book law. I'm just going to call it that. You can call it anything you want. You can also skip it, as you can see. And this puts it here so I can edit it. So I clicked on it. I click the edit button. And here's where I can add the tags. So I'm going to add this. And I can give it a title, description, button, and button text. If you want to do that, I can also add another image. Suppose I wanted to add this happens to be a slide from something I was looking at, has no real meaning, and see it slides your text over, you have a URL, and you have this piece. So you have all these pieces on top of your original image. Also, I wasn't able to make this work earlier, but let's see if I can do it today. So, this is my project. It's really exciting. And there you go. And then, I want to save the whole thing. I don't want to exit out. I want to go to done. And there it is. I can look at it and test it. Pick me will take us to something that doesn't exist. And there you go. So done. Now, in order to share it, you're going to have to say done again. You can do all these different things to it, but hey, while you're here, Make sure it's public so that when you go to share and get this link to give Dr. Nepp that it will work for him. So edit is important. Privacy settings. Rename if you need to. You don't need to do that. Those will probably not show up for you. You can download it if you'd like to do so and you can get rid of it and share. So let's have a look at what that looks like. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make sure it's sent to public and I'll go to a blank page. So if you share the link, this is what will come up. And I don't think this is going to be the audio. So why am I here? It's just going to be an accessibility audio piece, which is also good when you're using digital tools. So you may need to upload, uh, use your phone or something to upload an audio if you can't get it to work right. I see that it's changed its icon, so it may be in the middle of some change. But other than that, I know you can add the audio file, video files, and the whole thing, and you will have a very nice, interesting project. This is extremely simple. You can make it as complicated as you would like to do so. You have so many things to choose from. So I hope you enjoy this.